When working on a document in Word, it's important to have consistent formatting. The last thing you want is a document with multiple fonts and sizes, which is distracting to the reader. In this example, we're going to reformat a resume to make it simple to read and consistent throughout the document using various formatting commands, built-in styles, and the Format Painter. With the resume in Word open, note that this document has several different text fonts, sizes, and styles. If you're using Word 97 to 2003, all formatting commands are located on your formatting toolbar. In Word 2007, all text formatting can be found on the Home tab in the Font and Paragraph and Style groups. To begin, you first select the text that you want to reformat. To change the font style, simply click the Font button. From this drop-down menu, you'll choose the font you want to use. To change the size of the font, you select the Font Size drop-down menu and then select a size. To change the color of the font, select the Font Color drop-down menu and select a color. To see your changes, simply click away from your highlighted text. We'll next learn how to use Word's built-in styles, which allow you to easily reformat your text. To start, click anywhere on the same line as the text you want to reformat. If using Word 97 to 2003, Access the Styles and Formatting task pane by clicking on the Styles and Formatting button on your Formatting toolbar. If using Word 2007, open the Styles gallery located on the Home tab in the Styles group. Next, choose the built-in style that you'd like to use for this text. Note how all of the text on that line is reformatted to match the built-in style we just chose. We now want to apply the same style to all of the headings in our document for consistency. You can navigate to each header and repeat the previous step, or you can use a very useful command called the Format Painter. The Format Painter is used to copy all formatting and apply that formatting to another text selection in your document. You begin by selecting the text that you want to copy. You'll want to next locate the Format Painter button. If using Word 97 or 2003, this button is located on the standard toolbar next to the Copy and Paste buttons. If using Word 2007, the Format Painter is located on the Home tab in the Clipboard group. To use the Format Painter for a single use, left-click just once. To use the Format Painter on multiple selections, double-click the Format Painter command. In this example, we will single-click the Format Painter button. When using the Format Painter, you'll note how the mouse pointer changes to a paintbrush icon. Navigate to the next header in your document and drag select the text. Note how the formatting automatically changes to match the style in the previous header. If you had turned your Format Painter on by double clicking, you'll need to turn it off by clicking the Format Painter command again or by pressing Escape on your keyboard.